We do love the GTR. After all, it was our 2009 Motor Trend Car of the Year winner. And when we got the opportunity to run the Beast from the East on a new type of dyno, we jumped at the chance. First time we dynoed the GTR, we had to make assumptions about the driveline drag. And once the numbers were crunched, we declared that the GTR was putting out 507 horsepower and 500 pound-feet of torque. We calculated these numbers using a conservative driveline loss percentage of 15%. With this new dyno from Hyperpower Dynamometer measures driveline drag directly, providing a better estimate of flywheel output. Just like any other dyno run, the car is slowly brought up to speed. Once the desired gear is engaged, the run begins. At the run, the operator puts the vehicle in neutral while the four big rollers measure the rate at which the driveline slows down, thus giving us a true measured driveline loss number. We made three runs, averaging them since they were so close. This gives us a rating of 485 horsepower at 6,050 RPM and 470 pound-feet of torque at 3,800 RPM. Nissan's factory claim, 480 horsepower, 430 pounds of torque. So what did we discover? Nissan's claim of 480 horsepower is pretty accurate, but the torque numbers tell a different story. We saw a 5 horsepower difference between Nissan's claim numbers and what we measured, but there was a 40 pound foot difference in Nissan's claim torque number compared to what we measured. Nissan attributes the GTR's impressive numbers in part to its ultra low friction driveline, but the loss we measured is an above average 19%, with the GTR losing around 90 peak horsepower due to the driveline losses. Looks like incredible grip, launch control, short gearing, and uninterrupted torque during shifts are responsible for the big performance numbers. For the complete story, charts, and graphs, please visit MotorTrend.com.